Right, everyone, this is my third order from kitmm.com, and I'm telling you what, it does not disappoint. I've got four shirts to show you today. They came in less than 21 days, which is three weeks. I think they came in 17 or 18 days, one of the two. So absolutely fantastic. Postage, you're looking at about £2.50 extra per shirt, so just be aware of that. But I think with that and the cost of the shirts, you're looking at, for instance, for the four shirts, it came up for the four shirts, it came up to a total of £66.72, £55.95 for the shirts. One of the shirts has print on, one of the shirts is a player version, which is always more expensive, but if you're looking just for a bog standard shirt, like we've got here a fan version, like you normally pick up in the shots for 60 quid, you're looking at about, what, £12? And then about a couple of quid for postage, so you're looking at less than £15. All right, guys, let's get into it. Smash the like on today's video. I'm going to put them in order, rank them from first, second, third, and fourth. Let me know what order you like to see these kits in, which one is your favourite. I've got some beauties. All right, let's get into it. Okay, we've actually got two black and white shirts today. The first one is Newcastle. It's their new home one. Extra large. Now, they have moved to Adidas, which I think does help. Because I'm mm, Castore one. I'm absolutely loving that, by the way. The old Newcastle badge is on the back, which is really good. I do like it. It's Adidas. They just suit Adidas, don't they, with the black and white straps. Obviously, the sponsor is not amazing. But this is just a fan version. So, this guy's was like £12.42. Quite blank in design. Maybe needs a name and number on the back there. If you would like to see more name and numbers on shirts, let me know down in the comments. But quite simple. Like the home shirts, teams never stray too far, do they? It's obviously got Noon on the side, which is a bit controversial at the moment. But it's their sponsor. So, there you go. Newcastle home. It does have, which people have picked up on with a couple of pictures. Look, it has still got the Castari lip badge on. Look. <laughs> Uh, Castore, sorry, shirt, but it is it is Adidas, there you go. There's no other Castore bits on the shirt, it's just on the tag. So that's fourth place. In third place, we're going with, I think this one's the player version. Yeah, so it's the player version shirt, so better quality. Uh, normally what you get in the shops for like 120 odd pounds, and it's the Manchester United away shirt. There you go, we've got the Premier League badge, whoop. Premier League badge on the side there. We've got the Manchester United badge, nice brilliant. I do like it. I like the colour, the darker blue, the two-tone blue. The I don't know if you can tell, but the badge, and you can tell, I think, the Snapdragon is actually like a silver colour, which I think looks really smart, and with the Adidas stripes down the side. I am actually like really liking that Man United shirt. I'm a big fan. I haven't a big been a big fan of the Man United shirts. Man United fan here, by the way. Not been a big fan of them over the last few years. The away kits have been okay. Um, it's got Red Devils on the back, but that is one of the nicest shirts I have seen for a long time with Manchester United. So that one was third place, but a bit harsh maybe, I think, on Manchester United. I've gone with this one in second. I'm one of my Patreons because I give out free shirts to my Patreons as competitions, prizes. Last, last month's quiz, last month's competition was to win the Santos shirt because I am doing a Santos save on the channel. It is very clean in design, no sponsor, just classic Santos, Umbro, Pele, Neymar, Rodrigo, yeah, they've all been there, a really nice clean kit, maybe should be third because I am really liking, I've seen the Man United shirt closer up, I do really like that one, but this is really nice, super badge, nice clean, I think probably one that would be very popular um, amongst a lot of people just because of its classic black and white stripes, definitely better than the Newcastle one, by the way. Is that because it's sponsorless? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, but Umbro have done really well. They do a lot of Brazilian kits, do really well. And my first place, this is a fans version. This costs £15.75 because it does have a patch on and it has a name and number on, and it is one of my favorite home kits of the 24-25 season. It is Bayern Munich. Number nine, and obviously Kane. I'm absolutely loving the font on the shirt right there. The badge, embroidered. T-Mobile. We've got the Allianz on one side. We've got the Bundesliga patch, classic Bundesliga, Bundesliga patch on the other side. Come out a little bit, and there you go. It does look, it looks better on the players than it does right now. Mia, Mia San Mia, whatever that means. 
That one is a large men's fan version as well. So if you buy large UK, that one, like me, that one I buy large men's for real shirts here in the UK. And if I was buying that shirt, I would be buying large as well. All right, that is my first place. Bayern Munich said really four really nice, three really nice. Newcastle one's okay, isn't it? But it's better being Adidas, I think, than Castore. Uh, Castor? Am I being posh by saying Castore? I think so. Castor. We'll just go Castor. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, smash a like on today's video. Check out the, all the other content on the channel. Thank you very much for your support. This channel has now been monetized, which means I'm getting ad revenue from the channel and um, because of all the views that i'm getting so really appreciate that and uh, your support right here check out the discord as well completely free to join link down in the description thanks for watching guys kit mm go check them out third order absolutely fantastic and really good customer service on the whatsapp as well thanks for watching guys take care see you later